Hi everyone. Today is Windows Day. We will be cutting some holes in here. And you know what? I think I'm feeling a little nervous. We're about to cut some windows. It's my friend Hi. Mark. And we're gonna be chopping some holes. We're not done yet. We still mess this up, that's for sure. Is a freaking crack. Hi and welcome if you're new here. Hey, my name is Flossie. I'm a photographer, amateur freediver with a passion for the ocean. I'm a maker and an adventurer at heart, led by an insatiable curiosity to learn more about the mysteries of the unknown and to prove to myself if they can do it. I can do it too. Thanks for joining me, and I'd really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below so you don't miss an episode. I hope you enjoy the vlogs, build projects, and explorations of the oceans, lakes, and forests just as much as I enjoyed making them. And I look forward to sharing more adventures with you here. Hi, everyone. Today is Windows Day. We will be cutting some holes in here. And you know what? I think I'm feeling a little nervous. Like, I'm a bit scared that, you know, this has to be perfect. We've got to get this right. You know, measure a hundred times, cut once. I'm getting ready for the next step. The next step is cutting the window holes. And then after that, putting the windows in. So I thought I'd show you all the stuff I have organized and prepared to take with me to the metal shop where we're gonna cut the windows. Metal screws, we've got some small ones for screwing in windows. There's actually another packet, I have to find where it is. Uh, we have tape. So this tape will hold these window frames in place. This is not what I'm using, but this is a, a trim so that we can use it to cut the templates for the windows. We have a Sharpie for drawing the templates. And then we have this roll, couple of rolls of butyl tape that is essentially brand new versions of the sealer. And then I have a couple of different types of silicon, um, which I will use if necessary to bead around the outside of the window along here. Knife to cut it with if necessary. And of course, measure a million times cut once. Right now I have two of my windows that I'm putting in. They are secondhand windows. And so I am cleaning the previous uh, butyl tape sealant off the outside of it. I've done one already. One more to go. Ugh, let's get cracking. We're about to cut some windows. It's my friend Hi. Mark, and we're gonna be chopping some holes.
bore some holes and then trace the thing on the other side again square and we're not done yet you can still mess this up that's for sure <laughs> don't say that mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why we end up like that. No worries. This is the yeah. important bit. This is us measuring like 16 million times. Kind of. Do you want me to go look on the inside? Maybe. Is it all flush now? No. no. Okay, so it just needs to come down in this top corner. Again. Like where my finger is. Can you see where my finger is pointing? Yeah. Yep. Just there. Oh, why? Okay. Yeah. It's because it's hitting in that one spot, I think. Well, let's try it one more time. on uh, the cut that I did. Yeah. Like it's gonna, you know, clear those. Because what I have to do next is put wood all around the outside. Okay. So that it has something to screw into. So like. Oh, don't knock your window out. No, I'm holding on to it. Because it, it, it's not meant for a piece of sheet metal, it's meant for a one inch thick wall or something. Yeah. Got it. Well, let's, we should still check our, our uh, 
or like um, measurements straightness like oh yeah 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 that's that's just fine just fine Ooh. going to glue the wood onto the out the strapping wood around the outside of the window. Sweet, let's get to it. Window number one, squared and framed. Yeah, that one's next. crazy day and I was just doing this and now look there's a freaking crack oh, I'm so disappointed in myself uh, this is a real van vlog full of mistakes and and lots of working hard I just lent on it a tiny bit Tiny bit too hard. I'm 
damn thing broke. And now I have to try and find one that's the same size to fit in there. It's not fucking broken. Oh, I'm just so disappointed in myself. I think I should be way more careful. It's glass. Been a few days since the window debacle and I didn't film what happened directly afterwards. I was still a bit upset. The window has been removed as you can tell and on this island I there is a local retired glazier I suppose you could say and um, my house slash landmates uh, know the people so we dropped the window off to him and hopefully it will get fixed and replaced just the piece that's missing really soon so I am so grateful to be living in a small place and you know if I'd taken it to a shop who knows whether it was a big enough job to even get somebody to say yes to doing it right? Like, not everyone wants to replace a small RV window, so... Ugh. I am very glad and very overwhelmed by the situation, so... I'm glad something's happening and I can't wait to install it the second time. And hopefully not fuck it up this time. You can see that it's screwed in place some screws connecting these together and this one has also been installed I need to give it a clean apparently but yeah pretty happy And it opens and closes real nice. It's still a bit dirty. I'm gonna go around and paint all of these screws black too. But we're getting there. And then the next job is to go around on the outside and seal the outside of the window entirely. But isn't this cool? Yay! It's like the window was made for this. Pretty stoked. Very glad to have that job done. One down, one to go. And then you can see mystery. My little van in the background. Like, I love my little van, but I am definitely ready to move into this new one and... <sighs> While it's still warm now, I have so much work to do. This is still a very bare frame and... Yeah, I feel the anxiety of having the knowledge of so much work to do and pressing deadline of temperature, you know? So, I got some shit to do. Oh, I really wanted to show you something funny. So, a while ago I drove the van to the dump to get rid of a whole lot of stuff. And look what's on top of the van's roof still! A pair of vice grips. They've just been sitting there. How funny is that? These 
my scripts were on the roof of the van and I literally like drove 230 kilograms worth of you know like all of this insulation and the board and rubbish that came out of the van like so much and these being heavy enough staying up up there on the roof of the van and didn't come off and I drove all the way down the road and then all the way back again that is hilarious Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, I'm very happy that I have one window installed successfully. I've got only a tiny bit of silicon on my fingers because I was using soapy water and it's hot but you know it's the end of summer and the end of August and I don't know how long it will be for this video gets to you guys because the next job is to strap all the walls where the red is and then install insulation and vapor barrier and I am excited about this part because it feels like I'm actually making some substantial forward progress and then hopefully the rest of this week, oh, so sweaty, I'll get my replacement window for that window, not replacement window, replacement glass, old window, I'm about to put that back in, oh, then I'll feel so good. Once this has got like all the windows in it, oh, can't see on camera how hot I am. It's gonna be amazing, yay! Bring it on. Can you hear the rain on the roof? Would you believe it? The window is in just in time. Still have to seal the silicone around the outside, um, around the edges, but it's sucked in tight and I think we're good, finally. I'm so glad to have this glass replaced. It's a huge relief. Thank you, I'm so happy. Yes, to the lucky chicken, I got the window installed, the day to the French arrangement. Yay! You might have also noticed that I have 